Good morning, everyone. Thank you for tuning to this presentation. My name is Rafael Rodriguez, and I'm a second year graduate student in the Material Science Department at the University of Pittsburgh. Today, we're going to be talking about making steel stronger. In particular, we're going to talk about microstructure characterization and post heat treatment design for high strength low alloy steel strengthened with FE2SI TI precipitate. Let's just get started. Focuses on high strength low alloy steels, or HSLAs for short. These steels have proven to be outstanding candidates for naval and automobile applications. This is mainly due for three reasons, low cost and high strength, excellent low temperature toughness, and wool weldability. They achieve these properties because of the low carbon content, but also by the co-precipitation of copper and M2C carbides. However, in recent years, another type of precipitate has been proposed to further boost the mechanical properties of these steels. FE2SI TI L21 is an intermetallic phase promised to have great strengthening abilities since it can precipitate in much higher volume fraction than it, copper and M2C carbides. Another advantage of using L21 phase is that it will lead to have steels made of low density elements with suitable hardening behaviors, hitting at the always challenging goal of designing low weight, high strength materials. It is for these reasons that the goal of this project was to effectively design an HSLA steel with L21 phase as its major strengthening precipitate. The methodology and experimental plan to achieve this goal is laid out in here. By using computational thermodynamics, in particular the CALFER approach, we were able to predict the microstructure of these steels and screen compositions that yield higher amount of L21 phase. The best composition candidate was Cassidy user R melting, and using the information from CALFER, we were able to design an optimal heat treatment. We used SEM and EDS as well as atom prof tomography to visualize and characterize the microstructure of the sample. Beaker harness was used to measure its strength. After screening thousands of composition, the best candidate is listed here in the table. The predicted solidification behavior is listed in the left figure. This tells us that the ASCAS microstructure should consist of BCC ferret accompanied with other two phases, the FCCMX phase and the lab phase. The figure on the right gives us a prediction of the phase fraction of our steel at multiple temperatures. Based on this, we then set the homogenization temperature at 1200 degrees C and the aging temperature at 500 degrees C so as to maximize the L21 phase while minimizing all other detrimental factors. SEM pictures show that for the case of the S-CAS microstructure, the CALFA predictions were right, since we are able to identify through EDS the ferret, MX, and lab phase. However, since this is S-CAS, the microstructure is not fully uniform. We see co some copper that didn't dissolve. This is why we need to homogenize the sample for uh, two hours at 1200 degrees C. The homogenized microstructure shown in the second row seems to be as predicted, except for the surprise of having L21 coloring the grain boundaries. This is a nice surprise because it is clear then that L21 is keeping the grain smaller, which is known to further boost the strength of the steel. The age samples in the last row uh, very, uh, look very much alike as the homogenized sample, telling us that indeed the L21 refines the grain size and refuses to dissolve even after low hours, even after low aging time. Harness values of this sample, we get outstanding results. We get a peak harness of 717 HV after 4 hours aging at 500 degrees C. This is several times more than the reported peak age harness of HSLA strengthened with copper and M2C carbides. Moreover, we see that even after 12 hours aging, the harness remains constant. Furthermore, analyzing the 4 hour age sample with atom prof tomography reveals incredible, result, incredible results. A dual population of nano size L21 and copper precipitates are spread throughout the sample. We clearly identify the cluster of elements that make up these precipitates and we, may, we measure their volume fraction and size. Copper fraction is in agreement with the copper predictions, but most importantly, we confirm that we have 8% of L21. This is a huge success since this proves that this type of precipitate is the main responsible for the high hardness reported in the last slide. Moreover, we see in the table that even after 12 hours aging, the volume fraction of the precipitates and their size have not changed much, which then explains why the harness remains constant throughout time. As for conclusion then, we can claim that we have effectively designed an HSLA steel with FE2SITI L21 phase as its major strengthening precipitate, hitting a record, a record high peak aging of 717 HV, and a peak, um, demonstrating that this peak age hardness remains constant even after 12 hours. As an ongoing research, we are currently looking at the ductility and the toughness property in order to see if they also exhibit high values as in the case of hardness. And for future work, we are looking into fine, uh, exploring, tuning the composition in order to explore the possibility of 3D printing these materials. 
Thank you very much for the opportunity of participating on, on this competition and feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Have a good rest of your day.